Hello Guardians, it is e <clears throat> Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and I want to put to together two guides for Presage. One a normal, because as soon as you get the catalyst, you will be basically good, because the rewards are the same. You only have to do the catalyst once, and I will do this separately, but I want to get this one out a little earlier, because I know this is one that I think many people will be able to farm, especially if you're a solo player. We know the LFG system is coming next season, so you got a few months till that gets here. And if you guys want to farm any of these missions, I do want to do the normal ones first. I will do Legends probably the second time they come around. So stay tuned for those. Um, but Presage in and of itself, not overly difficult. You just kind of need to understand how the systems of the level work. And then just kind of put yourself in a good way to fight the boss. Uh, overall, I'm trying not to do anything too crazy here. You know, I'm plus 8 on power bonus, so I'm 1810. Um, I'm literally taking off mods, so I'm not too high in the resistance category. And I'm using an old Sterling. I do have rewind, rewind rounds. Try and say that 10 times fast. And Hatchling. So that one's actually not bad. Trying the new x Dearest for just an option. And then I've got a Neo Muna. So this is like relatively new stuff. I'm not using like my retrofit escapade. If you missed this one, I am sorry. I did try and post a video. But it's running. Even while I record this, it's got about an hour left. This is the brand new seasonal one. And then a decent one. So I'm kind of leaning into Strand here. Artifact. Nothing too crazy though. I do do Strand and Solar a little bit, did a couple of Strand mods, and then I've actually got the Overload Machine Gun, which won't really play on the normal vote mode, and then Rapid Fire Ranger, Rapid Precision hits against Distant Combatants, weaken them for a short time. I do have the Gliss this Glissando, which would probably play really well into that, but right now I'm trying to give myself just a couple different options, so we'll kind of see, I could go between either of these, um, see what it is, but again, I'm trying to make sure I'm not too crazy, I'm not 100 Resilience, Got some resistances on, just going to play through this thing on normal, and hopefully it goes reasonably. It is 1800, so you can't over-level these things, so keep that in mind as well, because, well, if you're 1790 and trying this thing, just give yourself a little time. So let's jump in, I'll show you how it works. You're not against the timer in the normal difficulty. I think in Legend they're probably going to put the timer in there, because that's the way it was set up before. Uh, so we'll have to see how that one goes, but on normal, it's not that bad. Can't go Several in that door yet, so we're going to head over here to the left. The and I'm going to go fairly quick brief. on this one. This um, its, it's really heading. just like so once far, you get comfortable with where to go awesome. in the jumps, the you'll be able to fly through this thing pretty fast. You're clear for life fire so far, we're just kind of like running around the outside of this cabal ship, trying to find a way to get inside. We're doing a little bit of a jumping puzzle. We're eventually going to end up in there. I'm trying to show you the normal method. This is not like a speed run strat or anything like that. I am trying to just be normal here. Not trying to go absolutely crazy, hence the loadout as well. Nothing bananas awesome. But again, as you run here, I'll try and give you guys the best route just to see if I remember how all this stuff works. There were some secrets when this thing came out before, like some lore bits that you would get. I don't think you can get those in the same way you did before. This is more for the experience, the Step weapon, up. the craftable side of the weapon and all that fun. I love the ambiance in here. If you take it slow by yourself and just like really crank up the audio, put some headphones on, it's a pretty cool mission. There's an open patch into the ship's computer. All right, Perhaps so we come over here. You need to hit the switch and it's actually gonna open both sides. So it's gonna open the big door. It's also gonna open this one. To be able to come in here. This is called Igrigor. And you give yourself a little buff so you can pass through these There's kind no of light. like alien areas. In this room, you just need to jump up here, go in the tunnel, follow around this direction. An anomaly left in the and the here, and you see the light go up. A couple jumps. I don't flub the jump. It's right up here. And again, if you're going against the timer, of course, you'll want to practice this a little more. But right now, take your time, learn the mission, understand where things are at. First set of enemies, so when you come back in here. Oh. Yes, it's like I do have hatchling working in my favor, so that's going to get me some kills. But yeah, I was using my uh, you're not the only life switch sign over here that you got to see. Hit, come back this direction. I was using my, like, Icolos SMG and absolutely just destroying this place, so I'm probably going to have to play a little slower than I was. That opens this door, the switch does. You're going to grab your buff, jump across, and then just keep running so you can get through. 
You're passing through this creepy area right here. And you're gonna go down, you're gonna have a couple enemies spawn. Trying to just gather up some heavy ammo, so I've got that. Trying to have a little fun with this new thing. It's actually not bad. I don't know how it will end up in the full meta, but it's a decent little weapon, I'll be honest. You're going to jump across here, shoot that switch to open the door. You're going to have some ads coming at you, so be ready for them. You got a grenade you want to throw out there. Should be good once you've got most of them cleared. Jump up here. We're going to hit a switch. Then you're going to come underneath here. Sorry, wrong side. Doing some of this from memory, I haven't like mastered this quite as easily this time. Sorry. So that switch over there opens your access over here. Then you gotta jump across, hit the switch, go the back in, shoot the fuse. Bomb sought. Translation there we go. As right, so come back. Today, graced the so once you get in this area, sequence of events anomaly. is Hit the switch the up over there. The Go out here and hit the switch. Castellum. Come back underneath this They're little catwalk. The shoot your fuse. The end will lay then come back up and the door is and open. We're in the trash compactor section. If there's a space movie that you can think of, you are 100% correct on its inspiration. And there's kind of a glitch in here. Still seems to work, so I don't know if it's a thing. You've got two options of how to do this. You are going to want to kill things quickly. So when you hit this switch... There's a glitch where if you run to the other side, the compactor won't actually get you. But your goal is to try and find three of these fuses in the ground. And if you can get them, then you don't have to worry about the crazy glitch. So I've actually got all three. Except I died. Don't forget about those. Make sure you focus on them. <clears throat> but I will show you it's not a big deal if you do die. Because guess what? You can come back down here and do it again. I'm going to leave this in the guide just so you guys know because I'm sure there are going to be people who die in here. It's a bit crazy. You literally spawn right outside it. You fall back down. Nothing's going to happen until you hit the switch again. And then now you have a few ads that you can kill. Now, the reason it stopped is because I hit those switches in the floor. Every one of these is going to have a break in the floor. Some of them are going to have like the glowing fuse. If you hit all three before it gets to this point, you'll notice this red flashing area will be open and that's where you would drop down. The glitch is literally to just run right here and stand and you don't get squashed for whatever reason. So if you can hit the switch, come over here and then kill all those guys and not die, technically this little spot won't kill you. I feel like there used to be a little lip you could stand on, but no. Um, but yeah, if you're over here, you should be alive if the glitch doesn't work. Then the main thing is, when you start the switches, try and jump vertically to look down. And you're going to try and, like, break some of the grates that you can and look for the switches that are lit up. So you can see all the grates go this direction. So my advice is try it from this angle. And you're looking for those little blue lights like fuses, but they'll be kind of barely visible through the cracks in the vents. So that's how you're meant to do it, this except without the death. You're no shooting. So I actually hit all the fuses. I just died due to the enemies. We're going to come out this direction. The, the audio they did here, very dark movie type. Fall in here, you're going to be at a combat encounter. You're going to have our big guy spawn in. We'll be dealing with him later. You got to hit him enough to basically get him out of the room. Look for your snipers in the corners. Right now, I'm just trying to hit crits. If I can have my threadlings running around doing a bunch of stuff. I am kind of enjoying hatchling. It did get a bit of a buff. So don't sleep on hatchling. Those threadlings will put in some work. And if you lean into kind of the strand buffs this season, it's not too shabby, but... but there's that. Once that room's done, then we'll proceed forward to kind of the bigger combat arena. This thing's got some waves to it, so I'm going to reload. Guardian. But on normal mode, this is not records. that bad. It's it when you get to Legend, really trying to crank these things out, champions and stuff like that. Gets to be a little hairier, and that's where 
connection is strong, gotta be a little more on your game. Normal mode, just to farm and an get the original crafted wind, pattern and also farm like whatever weapons are part of the mission. Awaken. You can get a lot done on normal. Legend, you'll really only run probably like once or twice. Depending on the mission. And again, I know I'm using like a decent scout rifle here because it's like hatchling and reconstruction. Still gotta reload occasionally. But it's like, I'm trying not to break the game with the be all end all of stuff, but I'm trying to say like, don't use just crap stuff in here. Use the best thing you've got. I'm just trying not to use the best things I have because for newer players and others. I love those moments though. Like that's when you're like, okay, so tangles are like very efficient. Kind of on a ridiculous level. It's kind of nice. Now you got the point where you got some guys down below. When you kill one, you're going to get more adds to spawn. So whichever one you kill, just be ready for it. There will be a rally flag right before the final boss fight. So if you go hard now, it is okay. You're going to use that rally flag later. Don't kill myself. this new thing though. Not a bad little weapon. When you sit there and fire them, and as you do more damage, you're able to fire faster. It's like it's not my favorite thing in the world, but you can put it in work. Being generous on the ammo, so I'm not gonna argue. We've got one dude left over here. Hi, bye. All right, you'll know when that objective complete pops up on screen that you are good to move on to the next section, Hangar which is a little act exterior jumping again. Again, if you ever Why wonder if skyboxes are awesome, run. like you really set this one up well to be creepy out in the middle of just effing nowhere space. <laughs> Get some verticality up on the ship, and then we will head to kind of the next little puzzle section. Duck under here, jump over. So Guardian, the update in the lighting is pretty cool in here too. All right, so when you come in here, you get your switch over here. This is gonna light you. you get your first buff. And then as you come over this direction, we will deal with our first set of ads and then our first little quick puzzle. Come up this ramp, you're going to see some screebs up here. Alright, so switch is going to be here. What that's going to do is open this fuse. When you hit that fuse, that wall's going to open. If you're fast enough, you can make this little lap in one. But the easier way to do it is just like grab the switch because you can technically jump out fast enough if you're quick enough to get up here and time it right. But you don't have to do that. Just come over here, hit the switch and open the door. Then when you come down here, what you've got to do, now that that switch is done, grab your eager gore here and then go for a bit of a run. You got plenty of time, just stay moving, stay mobile. Pick whatever class you're comfortable kind of running with and being a little swift. Yeah, the scout rifle in here is probably not the best choice for certain sections, but kind of works in others. We've got these like ranged guys to go for. Yeah, if I can do this with a scout rifle, there are way better weapons. Like, the Eichelos SMG is just kind of destroying everything. There's got to be... I didn't think I killed everybody. 
All right, maybe I did. Okay, so big giant cylinder on the left-hand side. You've got a switch. You need to run back over here and grab your buff. And that will allow you to proceed. Nope, oh, this wrong. My fault. Need to go underneath to hit the fuse. So you got a Scorpius down there. Watch out for him. Hit your fuse. Then, okay, so big yellow cylinder. Hit the switch. Come underneath. And then come over here towards your entrance area door was right there. Here's your Egregore. So you actually fall down through the big hole. Because you don't actually want to go through here. That part's going to kill you. You don't want to go there. You want to fall down through here. And get yourself down in the bottom. Now when you get down in here. You're going to be looking for a very specific direction. You're looking for this one. Where you can shoot farther up. So, the buff you're looking for is going to be back here, and if you clear a path this direction, you should be able to make it in one fell swoop. So grab this and run. Turn left. Gonna have an ad here. Just jump him. Usually you can't do too much. And you'll make it through the Egregore right there. Hit your switch. And we're actually back in the room we were in before. This time we've opened that door. We need the Egregore buff again. Go ahead and grab that. Going through our door. And then our next set of abs will be out this direction. Of course, we've got a sidewinder there. And again, use the heavies. You've got them and you've got a rally flag coming. All right, so if you go to the other side of the room, so to the left over here you have a switch, kept notes on like if you're running well. up the left hand side of the room, in this stuff come over here, tap the, the switch, come back here, hit your fuse, then run back on the other side, all but one who down your wall and you will have your Egregore. Use this to get through one of the last the little sections we've got. Now you can rebuff here, which is something I kind of like to do. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing, then I'll break it down. Because what you can do is you can come up here, hit this guy. Now if you're fast enough, which is usually what I would, what I used to do, try and literally run up here and not stop. To be able to get to this switch and then come back and hit all the buffs. You got a Scorpius in there. Once that switch is open, uh, you should be good. But the main thing is you need to hit this fuse. That opens the door. So if you're fast enough to run from over there, jump down like and actually hit this switch, and then jump back up, you're actually able to run in here, grab your Egregore buff. But now I've actually got to go all the way back. I'll explain it a little better on the return trip. So you'll grab your buff run over here your goal would be to kind of like slide through here hit that fuse and then with the time left that you guys can see i've got if i don't fall of course i'll leave the death in there just so you guys can see you know it's not the end of the world until you get to the boss and respawn But that's the idea. You want to bring the buff into here so you can get through, but then you renew the buff so you can get around the corner. But if you're crazy fast enough, you actually don't really need to do that once the door is open. So it's a whole combination of going fast, but I'll cover that more in the legend mode. For now, your goal is to make sure that fuse is, is open or shot. This fuse down there. And then also make sure that switch there is open. So then when you come back through, it makes your life a little easier. Now you've got an additional buff, so you come through here. You've already hit this switch, so you're good. Come up around the corner. Run through here. And now you've got your rally flag for the final boss. So if you need to change anything up, whatever it is you think you want to do, you are good here. I'm just going to stick with what I got. Pretty basic stuff. You know, season pass, but 
Nothing that exciting. Hit your rally flag to make sure your super's up. And there are better supers for DPS. I'm literally just leaving it with what I've got. When you fall in, you are straight in the arena, so look for the boss. Bring out a heavy weapon, and you want to kick him out of the room. You just want him gone. As soon as he goes immune, you're going to be good. You're going to be greeted by some ads. You can clear yourself. And there's one of the sides. If you need a place to work from... These are some of the better corners in the early waves. I'll kind of explain what I mean as the waves go. When you kill all the adds, you're going to have a second set that spawn. It's literally just two stalkers on each side. Later waves, once you start doing more damage, will be there. And what you're going to need to do to be able to get down below where the boss is, that stuff will cook you because it's like on fire. So you got to kind of pump coolant in there or whatever it is. So that's one. In here is two. I like to just run through. Your feet are going to be burning, but if you activate it and then just run out, you still won't die. And I feel like we're stronger than we used to be in this mission. Legend, that'll probably hurt more. Because you can do the that one over there, and then this one. And then basically what you do is, when you go in there for the last one and you turn the switch off, then the floor is not burning you in this room in here, if you do it last. So then all you really want to do at this point is jump down, do enough damage to move the boss to the next phase, and then rinse and repeat. You're going to look for the boss. He will teleport sometimes, so you got to be ready for him to kind of be moving around. Now if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, all you literally have to do is run up here to the other side and attack him from the other side. You can run in the back. I just typically don't, but you can. And by back, I mean over here to the right-hand side. You can drop down over here and attack him as well, which I'll do this time just to show you because you can get a good angle on stuff over here. Kind of see where he's coming from. But as soon as you do enough damage, it starts to be warm down there, so you got to get back out, and then you'll be dealing with more adds. And again, at 1800, normal difficulty, really not that bad. So you need to get a little comfortable. Don't worry about it too much. This is a no respawn zone, so. zone though. So make sure, like, if you get to this point, play cautious. Because if you die at this point, then you really are going to be hurting. Now I can literally, like, drop down. It's on fire. See if that's going to hit anybody. And, like, on Legend, it's going to hurt a lot more. Right now, not very dramatic your goal again once you've got a side cleared activate the switch and again i've run this mission countless times previously when it was around so that's why for me i feel very comfortable with this one first time through here hopefully i didn't go too fast but kind of explained everything so now you'll notice when i come in here as i activate this one when i turn it off as it's the last one i'm instantly good on I'm not trying to, like, run out of there before my health goes out. I'm fine. So now if you want to orientate yourself, like, with your super, if you're going to do, like, chase him down with, like, the super I'm going to use. i got to find him again. I'm going to go super this time, and I know I want to be able to back out of this corner right behind him. Because his health will go down pretty quick. All right, so his health is done, so I'm going to get out of here fast. Jump up, and then we'll be in the final phase. It's a little riskier, wouldn't do that on Legend difficulty. So that's again, that's why that's a separate video. This is just for like, can you farm this as a solo player? You absolutely can, and you can do it quite well. This third wave, you notice I'm gonna have more ads. I've got a couple more snipers in the middle. You're gonna see some screams pop out. It's gonna be a little more interesting in this one. That's why you have a couple different types of weapons and you should be covered. It is actually kind of nice to have a boomer launcher because they've been doing it to us for so long. I still got to work on my arcing trajectory, but it's there. Those are the positive mods for us. The last beat. We're going to go through and hit the switches. And again, I'll show you. This one, you can make it out. All I do is just run in. 
get the switch, can get to the opposite side as quick as you can. As soon as you're done, and you'll survive normal. So if you want to do it that way, then just pop out and be done. You don't have to do this side, then the other side, then the middle. If you want to be a little faster about it, you totally can. Now we just got to figure out which side he's hanging out on. And kill your other ads. As soon as he gets ready to like swing or slam, if you're worried about health or anything like that, and you'll notice up here, now I've got more adds as I do more damage to him, too. I'll probably kill him next time, so I just want to make sure I'm fully loaded. If he's on the opposite side, I can probably get the kill in, I think. Yeah, if he's got to run from the opposite side... you're going to be able to do a good amount of damage to him. Now, using not the best machine gun, a couple, like, Gallahorns, you'll do well down there. I'm trying to see if they're going to drop me any heavy, but they did not. probably go for him this time though because he's so far away now should be able to put him some good work looks like i gotta reload if he does one of those fire runs at you just make sure you don't stand in it still get a little work done and he's dead so to exit you gotta come back to the main floor too many scorn for an and if you're in the midsection Guardian. just for point of reference your exit's gonna be on the right seen it and others like it in place of each world the dark event storm. here at the edge of not our any more vaults. secrets that we're worried about collecting so we should be able to just jump out here and we'll grab our craftable dead man's tail slightly different perk pool i imagine but that'll be video for another day this was a very cool mission though. i'm glad to see some of this stuff back there's some older ones i can't wait till we get those maybe next year but for now these are still fun we're going to get our weapon. You're going to get your red border. You're going to get cranial spike, which is going to be kind of what the intrinsic thing. thing. So the more times you Our beat it, guardian. if there are four of those like Can they've done for, say, do like that. Revision Zero, so beat it four times, you'll get your cranial, cranial spike, which will boost your stats. Um, Same as you, but you've got the pattern. Straight away, it is one of one else. for patterns, and you're good. And then the cranial spike is something where you're going to slowly boost the stats of the weapon. Kind of an exotic, craftable thing they started doing. So there's some cool story in there, um, but we'll get back to orbit and wrap this thing up. So that pretty much wraps up normal version. Uh, if you don't have the catalyst, you're going to want to do legend one time to get the catalyst. You will still get the upgrades and you will get your season 17 rewards as many times as you want to run this thing. So this mission didn't have as much that I thought was really favorable. I will still do Vox Obscure the same way, but when it comes to Operation Seraph Shield, Retrofit Escapade, you'll be able to earn that one eventually be a craftable. And then also the Ikelos SMG, two absolutely crucial weapons in my loadouts and many people's loadouts. So two weeks from now, and then every three weeks, that's the one I think everybody's probably going to be farming. But getting a craftable DMT, if you don't have it, kind of a cool thing. None of us have a craftable one. Um, not sure it's going to be top of the meta, but it's there. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like below, leave a comment if you've got questions, loadout options or anything like that. But I tried to go pretty basic. I was tier seven here. Uh, I did Arc Solar, Resistance. Um, I'd really tried not to max things out with like exclusively elite gear or anything that would probably make this faster. Hence why it was probably a bit more of a mediocre run. But if you enjoyed it, that's kind of the point is it's a run for everybody. So if you want to find me on Twitch or Twitter, it's about just right here. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, helps my videos make it to you, and it's a free way to support the channel. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can. You can find me on Patreon at Ebontis, or you can also become a channel member. Thank you all for everything. I'll see you soon.